Okay, so I've got the wheel out as you can see. The brakes were a little bit glazed up. I've cleaned them up with, uh, with some sandpaper and I use some memory cloth to clean up the, uh, the brake drum and washed it through with some brake cleaner. And I had a mask on when I was when I was cleaning this up and all the little the debris was here which I've now hoovered up with my uh, Henry Hoover. So that should be good, get that back together. Um, I thought I would mention in the previous part of this video I mentioned about the little tabs for the speedo drive and you can see them there. That little tab there and opposite there's another one. That must line up with these grooves in the wheel hub here. But if you if you were to just put it together and they were there and then you tighten it all up, it just it just bends these. It bends these and buggers that plate up. And then although you can get them, they're not cheap. Uh, if I remember rightly, I think the one from um, the grey bike was a bit damaged, although it was working, but it was very loose on here. So um, that's a little handy tip there. Um, if I move this, that's not, this is nice and free. So I have a feeling I have been in before, lubricated, but I just can't remember. Um, usually what you do is you put a bit of, bit of grease on that shaft, but that's all good. And the only other thing I've done, I've got the cable out and I've just got a little bag on here with some oil in it. And I'll just let that sit until the oil drips out the bottom. Just so I know we've got oil in the, uh, on the cable. And every now and then I'm just pumping it up and down. So, uh, coming along quite well. So here we are, first run. And, um, we're at Charleston at the moment, the old the old airfield there, with the uh, the wind generators in the background. But it ran really well. I kept looking behind, not too much blue smoke. Um, top speed of about 25 mile an hour, which I kind of thought it might go about 30. Um, on the internet they say they do about 35 mile an hour, but ah, she's poodling along all right. So um, so far, so good. Well, here we are, done a few more miles, and um, good news, she's hitting 30 mile an hour, no problem now, on the clock that is. <laughs> I, I mean, also, she's not smoking, I revved her up a minute ago, hardly any smoke, no, I'd say no smoke really. Um, I think she's come around, My, I suspect that the piston rings were perhaps a bit stuck in, or the oil ring, it's got a bit of heat in it now, and it's freed it all up. And honestly, she runs, ah, oh, she runs lovely. For a little PC-50, we even went over 30 mile an hour with the uh, wind behind us a couple of times. And it was pulling out of um, Chest Chalveston, out of the hill there, 28 mile an hour, no problem. When we got in the flat, it was up to 30, revving nice and re nicely. Going really well. So, um, yeah, I am absolutely chuffed to bits. Looking forward to Friday when we go out on the moped run. Okay, that'll do for now.
wanted to show it to do 30, but I bottled out. I've got a bit of a tank slapper on, holding it in one hand. And, um, yeah. So there we go. Um, back home now for another report. There we go, back in the garage. Very hot little uh, PC50. To say it's hot as day today. Oh, it is quite hot. Bloody hell. Um, but yeah, going well. And um, it was on 6.5 when we set off. So we've done 10 miles. And she's going well. Let's hope she carries on going well. And um, performs well at the mo moped run over in Oxfordshire with these guys. There we go. Well, here we are, Saturday, day after the run. And um, it went well. 40 mile run on the various mopeds and I was on this one. So what we did find out is uh, a nice, reliable little bike. However, it is an oil burner and it did use quite a bit of oil. So um, I need to strip down the head uh, or rather the, take the head off and the barrel and um, check the valve guides and stuff. But um, I'm going to leave, leave that for another video. 
and also it did it did become apparent that um on the front here i i had i've got new bushes in in the front here but the ones at the back were slightly worn but um if you remember rightly i i left them as they were because i couldn't get them at the time um i've now been able to get them from moped land and um they're on their way so i'll get those changed because the wheel was a bit a little bit wobbly i don't know if you can see it on here it's more when it's got when it's sitting on its springs the wheel does move around a bit but it, it was okay it did the full 40 miles um but it'd just be nice to get a, a bit more positive steering if you like so that's it really um didn't get much footage of yesterday's run too busy enjoying myself but um i'm gonna do another video of me changing the bushes on the front and stripping stripping the engine down um to see where the oil is being burned who knows what we're going to find but uh yeah so thanks for watching the video it's a bit of um as you could probably notice bits and bobs glued together from the last six months not the best video out on youtube but um i'm going to post it anyway right so bye for now hi folks only me so today after going on the moped run and realizing that um, the suspension bushes are quite warm i did the front ones in the winter these back ones i couldn't get hold of um, but now i have been able to get hold of them from moped land um, and after the run on on friday it was quite obvious that this is a this is quite badly warm you can see that moving like that and that's because of these back bushes here in these in these swinging arms so today i'm going to uh, strip it down the parts aren't here yet um but i'll be all ready to fit them so uh, without further ado let's uh let's crack on the first thing i'll take off is the speedo cable there's a little screw in here Pop that out of the way. And then if I loosen off the, the brake cable, I should be able to release the cable from the arm. So it's a 10 mil spanner to hold the outer cable and a 12 mil for the adjuster. And I'll bring that right back to the, um, the flats on the cable. Be able to squeeze the spring out of the way. There we go. I mean, there's a rubber seal there to stop the water getting in, and this spring. But if you pull that back, you can get into a position where the um, the inner cable will drop out of the. He says, or drop out of the back plate. There's a slot underneath. So that's that out of the way. I would say the next thing is undo the uh, the axle bolt. It's a 17 on the nut. It's a, it's a lock nut, but the last time I put it together, I uh, used Loctite as well because it's uh, a lock that's quite old. It wasn't really doing its job. Take the little spacer out, he says. If I get the bolt out enough, little spacer there, and that allows you to push the wheel this way, take the bolt all the way out, holding the back plate in. Pull the wheel out. So that's that bit done. Now, if I remember rightly, these are 10 mil. These little bolts in here. So we'll get them undone. And that 
nuts on the inside. So I'm just going to hold them with these uh, long nose pliers. I think this threads into the other side of the clevis, and so that's a lock washer. I believe I'm right in saying that. It's not a lock washer, it's a lock nut. So if I undo the lock nut first on this side, there we go. And again, I'll hold it with a long nose. coming out, some um, truss washers on each side of the, the nylons. I remember I made those actually. <laughs> there we go. They're not, they're not factory ones, but I think they'll work. I see, because I don't think I'm getting the new washers, I'm just getting the bushes. So that's that. So now that's disconnected the, the swinging arm from um, from the spring and the clevis on both sides. So I'm going to do this bolt now, which holds the back bush, which is the one that's quite worn and giving me all the problems. Um, and it also holds the mud guard on. Um, so for that, I think I need a twelve. Is it a twelve? Yes, yeah, a twelve. And loosen it off. Loosen the nut off first. That's it. And on here we have a special washer, which um, is stepped so that it doesn't squash the uh, the mud guard plastic out. So it's got when that goes back, it's got to go the right way. And you pull the the bolt out which doesn't seem to have a, a washer behind the head. Um, I think that's correct, that's how it came apart. And here we've got coming out is the, uh, is the arm. And um, there's, a, there's a bush in here, steel bush, which hopefully we'll be using again. It's not too worn, it doesn't seem to be worn. And then um, this is the, the nylon bush there. So I've got, um, these are the ones I had made by my mate in the winter. I'll, I'll probably, well, I will I'll take these out and put the proper ones in, so we know where we are. So I'll take the other one out now. When this goes back together, we've got to remember that, that little um, tag on there goes on this side of the bike, the right-hand side of the bike, and it locates the brake, the brake um, back plate. So when you put the brake on, that doesn't spin round. That makes sense. Right, so let's get this other one off, and that's about it until the parts come, which will be tomorrow or day after, I think. That's it, that's all my bits out. And uh, next part of the video will be fitting the new bushes. Okay. Okay, I haven't got the swinging arms out. I need to get the bushes out. So um, I've just done one side and I thought I'd better video it. They came out all right. So what I did was, I um, 
I'll put this in the vise and use a little knife that I've got, a little pallet type of knife, just to get it moving. The light isn't that good in here, but if I open the shutters, it, you get too much light in from the uh, from the sun. So I think this is just to get in there and, and start it moving. Should come out all right, it's only nine on. And then I've got a couple of screwdrivers, little flat blade screwdrivers, and we should be able to just twist this bush out. There we go. That comes out all right. And then I've got a socket that will fit in here to knock the other one out. There we go. And you can see they're well out of round. So uh, that's me problem. And I thought I might as well just take the, uh, the homemade ones out as well and fit the fit the new ones from the uh, from the pack. Although well, these are probably going to be fine, but um, I can keep them as spares. Although I think you generally, I won't need. I, by the time I use this moped, I won't be changing these again. The miles I'll be putting on it. So a little tap with a little um, knife. bit far going over again there we go and tap that out as well and we are now all ready to fit the new ones I should give that a quick uh, quick cleaning in out of it there we go it's all good two arms waiting for bushes <laughs> 